Hello, everyone. RPG Kim Kitty are back with more Pokemon Scarlet. In the previous video, we... What the fuck? We start off our adventure. Oh, that's an Alolan Doug Trio. As soon as we'll find an Alolan Diglets around here then, too, most likely. Uh, we start off our adventure. In the Blueberry Academy, and now we're in Tranium. We're just gonna go catch some more Pokemon before we go to do what we need to do for the story. Whoops. I thought their defense is smashed. My great ball. Another shell smash. Yeah, I feel like no matter what I hit you with, with whoever you will be, Gonzo. But Minior is a Gen 7 Pokemon who uh, does not have an evolutionary line, but it's actually pretty cool still, regardless, so. Hey, there we go. Meteor that fall to the ground try to return to space, but their wish will not come true. All they can do is fade away. What the fuck? I got a red core one. That's dark as fuck, man. Tentacles evolve in. Nah, I got the Tentacruel. On the rare occasion that large outbreaks of Tentacruel occur, all fish Pokemon disappear from the surrounding area, surrounding sea. Pick a pack is going to evolve. Trumbeak. Oh, that's a Rotom back there. Flies around using a uh, hundred different cries in various ways to declare its territory to others. Mm, interesting. Oh, there's a Diglett. Alone in Diglett. It's a uh, steel type. Steel ground, I believe. Or does he not get the steel until he evolves into Doug Trio? I also can't remember. There we go. Oh, he does have the steel with him. The faints growing out of its head are whiskers that have become metallic. Diglett communicates with its comrades by waving them. And Diglett actually... Oh, wait a minute. Have there never been... Are there regular Diglets? For sure, I've like it. I thought Diglett was in the original, was in the base game. Guess it's not. There's another Meteor.
Canner up. Okay, I couldn't remember if Numo was a Pokemon that we've had or not. Seed drop. Where's a horsey? There's a. There's an Awak Rachnid. There's Dupider and there's Sorcy. If attacked even by a large enemy, Horsey effortlessly swims to safety by utilizing its well-developed dorsal fin. It's weird that it's called a dragon Pokemon, even though... Well, I mean, it does get the dragon uh, when it becomes a Kingdra. But that wasn't until Gen 2. Dewpider! I actually really like Dewpider for some odd reason. Water bug, that's quite an interesting combination of uh, types there to me. Do power use sticky threads to create the water bubble that covers its head so the bubble very rarely bursts. Ciao. Ah, Milsery. You guys already know about Milsery. Milsery's a Gen 8 Pokemon. Pretty sure I've caught uh, one of them in my uh, Sword Let's Play. The more sweet aromas it absorbs, the more its body swells. Milsery will def deflate when its energy levels drops. Okay, so you can spin in this game. I mean, that's how you get Milsuri to evolve into... Uh, whatever the evolved Pokemon. The name of its evolved form is... That's a seed draw.
Arish. Find a way to hit you. I mean, flower trick could. I feel like you're gonna die no matter what I hit you with. Okay, well, you didn't die there, so that's good. Okay. You the great ball. Science safety name is Audium Wanderous. It is said to cover distances as far as 1,000 feet when night falls, walking on its two roots. A fly gone. I'm actually going to catch another Oddish because Oddish has two final evolutions. Depending on what you give it. If you give it a Leaf Stone, it becomes something. If you give it a Sun Stone, it becomes something else. So, there you be. Evolve by a stone too? I think you evolve with a sunstone. Okay, because of that defense risen, maybe you'll survive the flat well then again critical hit. Yeah. That was my fault. Got with critical hits, uh, they ignore stat boost. Um, so least, uh, maybe I should have done knockoff. Yeah. Plus, Tongard only raised his defense, not special defense, which is what.
Pills of Bed, stuffed with cotton exhale by Cottony are soft and puffy, light and airy. All together top quality. I'm sure I'd put a mark on there so I know where the fuck to go. Just radiates coolness. Gloom and gloom. Oh, I guess I'm a dark type, aren't I? Plume. The Vile Bloom is one of the Pokemon that Gloom, who evolves to Oddish. Or from Oddish. Here we come. Here we go. Uh, leaf stone. Oh, he really is just the coolest. Who? Anyway, Trumbeak is evolving. To cut on. The compressed gas into Ken's beak launches seeds at such force that they can shatter large boulders. Beak blast.
Grimer is evolving. Book. Muck. There are over 100 kinds of poison inside its body. Chemical reactions between different poisons are the sources of vitality. Horsey's evolving too. Seedra. <laughs> the male raises the young. If it is approached while caring for the young, it will use its socket spines to fend off the intruder. So Seedra does have one more evolution. But I can't do it until I get a, uh... I can't do it until I get the, uh... Um... Uh, a King's Rock. Yeah, I believe Milsery has to hold an item like that, so I was somewhat lucky that I had the uh, heart item. And now, Creme. Slight vibration shook its cell shells, uh, cells when it evolved, giving it a bitter flavor. So, Carmel Swirl, yeah, there's like 18 like variations of Al Creme. With like, or. I don't know how many of them there are, but there's a lot of them. That great, what does that do? I don't know, but it does have there's a lot of variations. And all the pets too, it's like, oh, you have to spin for like X amount of time for it to be this shade. Spin for X amount of time for this shade. I think there's like three oh my god. I think there's like three different kinds of shades that a uh, Al Creme could become. Two cannons, but I've Comfy, yes. Okay, so this is also a Gen 7 Pokemon. You think it's a grass type? Nope, it's purely fairy type. Okay, that didn't work. 
try one more with a Pokeball, and then I'll try a Great Ball. Well, of course, it heals enough that I could heal, hit it again, but I don't know if that would be the case. Okay, trying a Great Ball then. Just going to keep trying for a great ball. There we go. All good. Diglett leveled up. It uses its vines to pick flowers. The flowers that Comfy attaches itself develop healing properties. Also does not have an evolution, so... Yep. Its shiny gold whiskers are advanced sensors that can detect vibrations from sound several miles away. I think Cottony just evolves by giving it a stone. Let's see. I believe it is the case. I think it's a leaf stone too. Might be wrong on that. No, is it a sunstone? There we go, it's a sunstone. Whimsicott. Like the wind, it can slip through any gap. No matter how small, it leaves balls of white fluff behind. Oh, a dubious disc. Dubious disc uh, evolves Porygon 2 into Porygon Z. Oh, Andrew. You did have Andrew if I had the place. Again, I didn't quite catch that. Hello, everybody. Shall we get started? 
It looks like we have a new face here with us today. I'm sure you're all enjoying the tropical climate we've recreated here at the coastal block biome. But remember, it's re really for the many Pokemon you'll be finding here, adapting for such weather. One such species has even grown exceptionally larger than it might in other regions, thanks to all the light it's exposed to here. That's right. Certain species of Pokemon can have completely different appearances depending on the region. We call this variation a regional form. And that brings us to today's task. I'd like each of you to catch one of these Pokemon, specifically a lowland form Pokemon. When you've got one, come and report to me. Now get catching. Oh, I already have one, so... Actually, I actually have multiple of them, so... Many of our classes here at Blueberry Academy are practical ones like this. So off you go. Don't overthink it and just do your best for the this first class. Ooh, we're hitting on Lee. No, that's hitting on Chan. It's a fairy type, so. Suing Lilligant. I just realized that it is going to do some fighting type moves, but it will be, I don't know, I think it'll be fine. I'm feeling a little bit better even though I literally just recorded this part and the previous part like within minutes of each other.
got ourselves a hit on me. A hit on Chan. God damn it. I wonder how many Pokemon there are that are just between. Or what, like, that are game exclusive. Like, what game. What uh, Pokemon can I only find in in Violet that I can, or what Pokemon can I only find in Scarlet that I won't find in Violet, and vice versa? Oh my gosh, that's a weird stance. I wonder if the Lone Sandry and Vulpix are like in here too. Corners are supposed with combat uh, combo punches from both sides and finish them off with a single straight punch landed at over 300 miles per hour. I mean, they're probably in the uh, they're probably in the uh, ice area. But yeah, I'm gonna show the Doug Trio. Oh my gosh, an Esper! First of all, Big Roth, how dare you? Love Esper. They each have a, a different form too, depending on if it's a male or a female for their evolutionary uh, form, which is pretty cool. So this is a male, so I'll definitely try to grab a, myself a female too. Keeps its ears covered to prevent the intense psychic power of its body from escaping, but it falls, but it falls unconscious if that power builds up too much. That's the evolved form. Give me a second. And there we go. That was the female. You managed to catch a little informed Pokemon for me? Yeah. That's one alright. 
You have, without a doubt, got yourself an Alolan Doug Trio. The Shine Gold Whiskers are advanced sensors that can detect sounds from miles away. Wait, Andrew, you already finished the assignment? I was really motivated. So battling isn't your only talent, then. You've got a knack for catching Pokemon, too. Yeah, I do. So you see how high level the students must be at Naranja Academy. Alright, everyone, gather around. We're all out of time for today, so that'll have to be for this class session. If you didn't manage to catch Pokemon in time, then that'll be your homework to complete before our next session. Class dismissed. Man, really guess I'm stuck with homework. So, Andrew, what did you think of your first Blueberry class? It was fun. <laughs> really, it makes me so happy to hear that. I like her. Oh, I was supposed to make an appearance at the club room. Shoot. I'm afraid this will have to be the end of our little tour, but let me leave you with one more tip. Here at Blueberry, we have lots of extracurricular tasks you can do called Blueberry Quests, or just BBQs for shorts. They're sort of like missions that the school assigns the students out and about in Terranium. Might be asked to have your Pokemon do some auto battles or to catch specific Pokemon. Those sort of things. You never know what you never know what the next BBQ might be or where you'll need to go to carry it out. But if you do but if you can't do what's asked of you, you'll learn blueberry points, also called BP. BP is a kind of school currency you can use at the cafeteria or at the school store. Might be able to use it for club activities in the future too. Anyway, the long and short of it is that you should do BBQs to get yourself BP. What are Blueberry Quests? Uh, Blueberry Quests are special quests that to support students' extracurricular pursuits within Blueberry Academy. You can complete the quest sent to your Rotom phone, you'll receive Blueberry Points. You can check out which quests are currently available by pressing the right button on your when you are out and about. A max of three quests will be displayed by default. Each time you complete a quest, a new one will be added to take its place. And every time you clear 10 quests, a special bonus quest will be unlocked. You can also help your friends with their quest if you're all playing together in the Union Circle. Once the quest is complete, everyone who took part will receive BP award for that quest, so work together to clear out as many as you can. Uh, BP are points that can be used, like cash at Blueberry Academy, use them to make purchases at the school store or the student cafeteria. You can also donate BP to the league club room to support other clubs. And that's it for me. Sorry for having to dash, but I really must be off now. Jerry Time Blueberry Academy. Rotototo. Hey, this is Andrew's phone, right? It's me, Carmine. I heard the news. You got picked for Blueberry Academy's exchange program, right? Yeah. Ha, one of my teachers told me. Never thought we'd be fellow students at BB Academy. Anyway, you should totally come show your face. It's been too long already. Now, let me think. Where can we meet up? Oh, have you been to the Terranium? There's a space called the Central Plaza right in the center of the dome. I'll meet you there. Don't keep me waiting if you know what's good for you. Feed 10 wild Pokemon using auto battle, catch one Pokemon, take a photo of a wild Pokemon that is swimming. <laughs> no, I want to use auto battle.
pick up items off the ground. Do they count that? They do, okay. I'm raising a low form Pokemon, look. Leo the student. Diglett and Grimer. Probably didn't need to do earthquake, but yeah. Fuck. I like the battle music for this. It's really good. Good luck, those alone forms, all right. So no way to zoom in. Make myself a TM. Successfully sneak on a Pokemon to defeat him in battle? Okay. You can easily do that one. Dewpider's evolving. Oh, 
Aquarine. Is that Tyrone over there? A carrying Pokemon, Arquanade, carries Dupite around its inside its water bubble to protect them as it walks. Protects its food in the bubble too. Do I have a love disc? Okay, I do. I remember if love disc was a Pokemon that I could catch before or not. Damn, almost got it. <laughs> I actually really like Blitzel. And of course, his evolution. Do a great bolt stab, I suppose. Wait, what was that behind me? Hey, there we go. Its heart rate generates electricity. When Blitzel is surprised and its heart rate goes up, the voltage of the, its electricity also rises. Oh, it was that. Oh, regular Tauros. When it targets an enemy, it changes charges ferociously while whipping its body with long tails. And 24 Safari Ball, wow.
team and catch Pokemon. Oh, that's a Tauros, okay. side of one again. Battle a wild terrier up uh, wild terra Pokemon. Okay, I can definitely do that. with one stone with this. Fighting type. Painted itself, didn't it? Yep. Arish. <laughs> 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 
Fluid that oozes from its mouth isn't drool. It is a nectar that is used to attract prey. That sucks that the other Oddish I have d didn't evolve. God damn it, I did it again. See here, so it's rain and stone. It's the same as the outside. Those are the psychic. No, fire type. What I can't remember. Oh, they are the psychic type ones. I can't remember what types they were. I thought the psychic type one was the purple one. Strength is vast and immeasurable as the sea itself. You know the Pokemon move dig? I wonder if I could tell him right through this mountain with it.
Oh, sweet. That's gonna hurt Doug Trio because I used Earthquake. And I killed my Oddish. Esper's evolving. <laughs> Meow stick. Though it has enough psychic powers to blast away any opponent, Meow stick prefers to support allies rather than attack. What the fuck? I didn't... Well, let me stay on the thing that long. Oh shit. You know what? Maybe just be on the safe side so I don't accidentally start the story. I'm gonna fly somewhere else so I can heal my Pokemon. Alrighty. Well, guys, that is going to do it for this part of Let's Play Pokemon Scarlet. In the next part, guys, we'll go talk to our friend Carmine and see how she's doing. So, thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you liked the video, please give that like button a click and comment down below if you liked the video, didn't like about the video, and let me know, guys, what you think of, uh, what do you think of the, uh, the way that things are run here at Blueberry Academy with the blueberry points and everything like that. That's actually quite interesting. I actually do like the the blueberry quests. They're actually quite cool in a way. So, yeah. And as always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to our main channel, too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, the RBG Kim Kid Twitter, are in there, too. Thank you all so much for watching once again. And I will see you all next time.